This first video comes from Melbourne, Florida, earlier this month. While driving his work truck through downtown, the witness had this to say about his encounter. I saw the object seemingly suspended in place, not moving in any apparent direction. Film the object for approximately one minute to show its immobility before it seemed to shoot off directly away from me before disappearing in a small flash of light. All right, I don't know what that is, but that is not moving, and it does not look like a helicopter. I am moving, that is not moving. Like, to give you perspective, that is not moving. Hang on, let me, let me pull over and park. I'm full stop. That is not moving. And now it's only starting to move. And it's disappeared. Barely. No, it's right there. This next video comes from Julio Concilio on TikTok, where allegedly someone recorded a flying object in the nighttime sky over Ontario, Canada. Appears to be only maybe four or five hundred feet above ground. Activity picked up in the sky, I'm going to say within minutes of being out here tonight. As the sun began to set in the town of St. Paul, Kansas, on December 5th of 2023, a man standing on his porch spotted a bright orb object traversing the sky. He had this to say about the event. There you go, Jesse. The first orb. I can catch on tape. It was out early, too. Well, that's an orb, bro. First one I've actually got on tape. It's out super early. Bro, finally got one on tape, though. while out shopping in her local Rite Aid store in Queens, New York. This witness catches another similar bright light orb in the evening sky. She had this to say about her encounter. Don't know why. I see a perfectly round orb shape hovering. It looked like it was hovering. Then it was up, then down, went into clouds and came out either up or back to the left, etc. It seemed to be hiding in clouds. At one point, the shape changed, and it looked black with a light in the center. I was watching this, looking for a second light. Nothing. Then it just disappeared like poof. At one point, I saw an airplane heading towards it. That caught my eye because I'm close to Manhattan, and no planes are allowed over it now. So this plane looked like it came over the city, which you can see from here, and the orb disappears. But after the plane veered away from it, the orb reappeared. It went east, west, up, and down.
The observer of this sighting found himself looking up to more than 11 objects in the daytime sky near Grand River, Ohio on November 19, 2023. This is what they had to say about the event. Spotted at least 11 objects move in sporadically going in multiple directions. This was a very bright sunny day. Clear blue skies. As I looked up above my apartment, I noticed a large group of what I thought were flares because they were orange and extremely bright. The objects had moved north towards the lake and eventually disappeared within two minutes the objects reappeared and came back the same direction they had just went. They had changed color, shape, and size. I went through and took screenshots of the video in slow motion, and you can see there was at least three different objects that they changed into, including a saucer shape, and I had some pretty clear images that looked just like a perfect saucer. In March of 2020, the folks at UFO Sightings Footage shared this video to their Instagram page. According to them, there was no information attached to the video, but what you can see for yourself. What do you think of this? Please let us know in the comments below. On March of 2023, the Central Asian country of Kazakhstan witnessed a blistering fast object move across the morning skies of an urban neighborhood. Eyewitness Boris Ignatev in Kazakhstan reported that the cylinder-shaped UFO moved with an elegance and fluidity defying conventional aircraft, its surface reflecting the faint light of the moon. The soft glow of the mysterious craft streaking across the night sky was caught on a local CCTV. Halloween 2023 in Wethersfield, Connecticut. A man standing in his driveway witnesses a cigar-shaped object traversing the evening skies. I don't know, but is that a UFO? Like, it's moving super fast and it's, there's no white streaks behind it. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. November 11th, 2023. In the small town of Midvale, Utah, a video doorbell camera catches quite the scene unfold in the night. Greetings, Commander. I wanted to thank you for the awesome event and opportunity to witness an ongoing buyer on the server. Take these stones as a token of my gratitude. The original uploader of the sighting said they did not see these live. These lights were caught on their ring doorbell camera and noticed four hours later after it had happened. Four bright lights flying, no noise and fading one at a time, and three of the lights were flying in a triangular motion. No other reports of sighting from local news websites. while photographing in Edmonton, Canada, in the downtown area. Justin Chernopesky, a filmmaker and owner of the popular YouTube channel Mountain Beast Mysteries, says for over a year he has been amassing numerous recordings of UFO activity in the nighttime sky over Edmonton. The following footage was captured from his apartment patio in downtown. Justin would track a helicopter passing by with his camera, only to pan back to two parallel objects higher above at exactly the same speed. According to Justin, this is a continuing phenomenon he sees in the area. Sometimes these objects can simply be one or three. One night, Justin was tracking a light in the sky, unsure if it was a satellite or not. He would make a startling discovery the next day while going over the recorded footage. From the top left corner of his screen, he noticed something quite amazing. This object starts zooming up and down and begins to almost trail the object Justin was originally tracking. This was something Justin said he had never seen before. These multiple objects moving and maneuvering in incredible ways, 
clearly beyond the reach of our own technology. You will want to check out his channel, Mountain Beast Mysteries, where he continues on this matter with even more footage he's captured. I'll leave a link below. In December, a local resident in Willow Run, Michigan, found themselves stunned by an object with a classical triangular formation flying overhead. If you've watched previous videos on this channel, you probably heard us discussing the TR-3B, which is rumored to be a spy plane being produced by Lockheed Martin in conjunction with the Central Intelligence Agency. This Black Project aircraft is said to have numerous technological developments that are reverse-engineered from crashed extraterrestrial objects. Here is what they've captured. Unfortunately, I had to mute the audio due to the colorful language that YouTube gets fussy about. This 16-second video clip captures a triangular-shaped object, pronounced by its outer lights, which seem to indicate it is one large mass and not five individual crafts, quickly passing through the moonless night sky. Typically, what we see with TR-3B captures is only lights on each angle with a red light in the middle, which does seem to appear as the craft banks its turn. What's interesting is where this video was captured at Willow Run, Michigan, which is also known as Air Force Plant 31. That was a manufacturing complex, most notably for its construction of the B-24 heavy bomber back in World War II, until 2010 when it closed its doors for good. Let us know what you think in the comments below about this object. Many are on the fence with this one. From Michigan, we move to Southern California, going back to October 9th. A video capturing numerous silver orb objects in the daytime sky. It has narration, so here we go. I don't know where they... Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a ton of them. Oh my God, can you see those? I don't know if they show up on camera. They're all silver. Tons of them. They're all glittering. Oh, I got them, I got them on camera. They're glittering in and glittering out. I got them on camera. I got them, take a view. Hey, hey guys. Come over and look at my camera and see if you see what I see. They're standing still. They're floating. They're not moving. How long have you been watching them? Oh, they're beautiful. went looking for answers after someone snapped these pictures of an unidentified object flying over the San Diego skyline. Now take a closer look at the left hand corner of your screen. You can see something there in the sky and some are calling it Santee's Area 51. One Santee woman tells us her camera broke just moments after she snapped these photos of the object at this historical barn that has some people wondering about visitors from far, far away. It was Tuesday on the afternoon. It was May 7th. When I zoomed on it more, and then it was clear it was certainly not a bug. Ellen Henry is convinced whatever she saw hovering over Santee's Edgemore barn is not from this world. The barn sits under several flight paths. We called Gillespie Field and MCAS Miramar. Neither could offer an explanation. There's no mysterious objects flying above the barn tonight, but what some say flew overhead is not out of the ordinary, considering what happens here below. We think somebody's come into the barn and we get up to look and there's nobody there. Santee Historical Society, which oversees the barn turned museum, says the property used to be part of a poor farm and hospital grounds, drawing paranormal investigators here for ghost sightings, enough to keep a ghost log. But the idea of a UFO hovering over a haunted barn? Maybe a little Area 51 thing going on here. Yeah, it is strange. It would choose CNT over anything else in the world, you know? I, I do believe we're not alone out here, that's for sure. It's it a good yes. story, doesn't it? Janet Kwok, 10 News. This next video comes from the Rostov Oblast, which is a region near the Ukrainian and Russian border currently locked in conflict. According to Russian air defense soldiers and civilians in the area, the object had been observed flying into the wind at an altitude of about a mile and a half, at which point the Russian air defenses shot the object down. 
Some critics believe it's just Russia downplaying the assault on a Ukrainian drone. Have a look for yourself, here is two perspectives. And in my opinion, it's quite large in contrast to how it was described. Mira, 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 mira. Alta luz, eh. Están todavía en la lucecita allá de la. El de Dios se ha zarpado. ¿eh? Es un ovni, eh. A very short video dating back to March of 2020 allegedly captures a fleet of UFOs not far off the moon's surface. Unfortunately, after digging around the internet for a source, there doesn't seem to be any chain of custody, which is pretty natural. The shadows being casted on the moon's surface would suggest these are enormous ships. So is this real or a hoax? You decide. Captured over Tennessee in the early hours of the morning, this video was recorded by an outside night camera and the original footage was over 10 minutes long. This is a sped up version that shows an object that almost appears to be mimicking the stars in the sky in one moment and then moving again around the night sky. Keep in mind this video has been sped up so the object is actually moving much slower in real time. Several months ago, Tucker Carlson sat down with the folks at Full Send Podcast for a full hour and a half interview. During the discussion, Tucker was asked what was one of the most favorite topics he's ever covered, and he had this very interesting tidbit to say. Check it out. The first question is, is this real? Or am I just being a crazy person who's spending too much time on the internet? Well, this summer, we got a call. We didn't reach out. This person called us. Lexi, who's standing right there, who's a genius, one of our producers, gets his call from this guy who's a tenured Stanford medical school professor, and he wants to come on the show. Now, this guy has a couple patents, and so he's rich. And he's got tenure at one of the most prestigious schools in the world. So, like, he's not a flake. He comes on, and he's like, 11 years ago, the U.S. government reached out to me because I'm an expert on head injuries, on brain injuries, traumatic brain injuries, as a physician. And they had all these court cases from families of U.S. servicemen, over 100, who'd been killed by UFOs. And the Department of Defense was refusing to give them death benefits or medical benefits. And I'm like, and he's like, so they're in the courts. And I was like, there are over 100 servicemen killed by UFOs? Like, what? He's like, yeah. And there are court cases about it. I'm like, why isn't this on the front page of the New York Times? I don't know. But he goes, I'm involved in it. I'm the, you know, I'm one of the researchers. I'm the expert witness in these cases. And in a number of cases, these things have landed on military bases, including famously in Germany, in West Germany in the 70s, and servicemen have approached them like, what is this thing? There's this like giant glowing thing on the base. 
and they approach and they get traumatic brain injury. Like they are rendered. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, they get brain damage or they're killed. And he studied their brains. And they have, this is all totally real. This is not, this is the Department of Defense, dude. December 12th, 2023. It's supposed to be the Geminids peak. And this is like so many orbs right above my neighbor's house. But it's so high. I don't know what that is. not normal. Sometimes they become a formation. The rabbit hole on this next video is very deep. In fact, many believe there has been a conspiracy by the US government to remove any information pertaining to a day-long violent conflict in the city of Magi, Brazil, which occurred in May of 2020. Allegedly, US and Brazilian military conducted some kind of deployment that involved extraterrestrial. The following video is allegedly captured footage of witnesses observing a UFO just before dusk. Mano, que que é aquele, que que é aquilo ali no céu, velho? Fala para mim. aquilo ali no céu, mano. Vocês estão vendo o que eu tô vendo? Ó. Dá uma olhada. Mano do céu, fala sério. Captured last fall, this video original poster recounts his experiences seeing these orbs traversing the Southern California sky over numerous nights. According to the poster, he would use flight radar in tandem to observe these objects to confirm if he were witnessing something extraterrestrial or just a commercial aircraft. Others in the Reddit posting, who are native to the area, have also acknowledged seeing orbs of similar appearance. As one Redditor states, lots of military activity has been witnessed in the area around San Clemente Island, and locals allege most of which is classified. In 2018, the US military deployed in Iraq recorded an object on one of their weapons targeting systems using thermal vision. The following object dubbed the jellyfish is quite unique to the traditional saucer and orb shapes. Here is a segment from Jeremy Corbell describing the ominous looking object. It's in thermal, it was filmed on a weapons platform. You see that there's a dog there. You see the animals are black. I'm assuming this is black hot. You see the object just went to white and you'll see it going from white to black, white to black. And that's basically showing the heat differentials. It's going like hot and cold, hot and cold. The problem was the optics platform was jammed. These individuals who target with these platforms, they can shoot out an Al-Qaeda tire at 27 miles away, but not being able to lock it was one of the first signs that something's weird. 
I was able to find direct eyewitnesses and corroborate that this event did happen. When individuals would target in on it with the optics, the way it was described, each of these hanging things, they were stiff, like they weren't moving. They had geometric form, like scales. What was said to be scales, like an armor. There were also people with night vision who were out and they were tasked to, to go look for it, couldn't see it on the night vision. Only in the thermal spectrum could it be seen. Social media has been buzzing with the recent video just shown. This has led to the surfacing of numerous similar sightings shared by people over the past several years. Among these accounts is one from Captain Kate McHugh, who serves as a captain for the Celebrity Cruise Line, boasting 20 years of experience in the industry. Here is her encounter with what she too describes as a jellyfish, dated June 20th to 20, along with commentary on the experience. We were up on deck um, and we just had the crew members on board when we saw this giant, it looked like a giant black jellyfish. And it started at the bow of the ship. It floated all the way down the center line of the ship through the ship's stack and then past the stern about 400 meters off. And then it started to descend into the water. It didn't make any noise. Um, there was very little wind, uh, maybe five knots at that height. The nearest ship was about two miles away and the nearest land was 12 to 14 miles off. That's Royal Caribbean's private island. And um, the size, I would say it was probably anywhere from 10 to 12 feet long and probably four to six feet wide. And this video, um, some of the like Discovery Channel contacted me and said, can we use this video and have our experts look at it and kind of dissect it to try and figure out what it is. And to date, nobody knows what that was, but that was one of the, the more interesting things that we saw. I like to think it was my dad sending somebody to check on us because you know that Area 51 connection, but who knows. TikToker Drew's Gobia posted a video recently of some footage his father allegedly captured one morning on his way to work in the town Adelanto, just northeast of Los Angeles, California. This orb-shaped object seems to hover perfectly still, just overseeing the entire rural area, with no apparent sound being emitted. As usual, commentators are on the fence about the object, suggesting it's a weather balloon, a drone or the notorious swamp gas that plagues every UFO sighting. What do you think it might be? Let us know in the comments below. According to Redditor Forum in Feral, three years ago a friend was on a nature hike in the mountains of Caballero, California, when an object caught their eye several hundred feet up in the daytime sky. Until the advent of smartphones equipped with telescopic cameras, the frustration of capturing clear images of distant objects may persist. Nevertheless, it appears evident that the observed object aligns with the size described in preceding videos, measuring approximately 8 to 10 feet and propelled by its own energy. Reactions from the original poster's comments suggest the absence of wind or emitted sounds, and considering its altitude, some argue against the plausibility of it being a jetpack. Notably, in a previous video we released a few months ago about Pelacaras, the Peruvian village residents claimed encounters with creatures utilizing jetpacks in their attacks. This prompts speculation about a potential connection between these occurrences. But what do you think? In 2009, the following footage was captured along Highway 41 in Lemoore, California. The video has several tweaks originally done by Luna Cognita to help draw out more details.
This 16 second clip has that familiar jellyfish appearance, yet something is different. As you can see in the contrast enhancement, many commentators, including myself, see three orbs either deploy or appear, orbiting the jellyfish type UAP. Moments later, these orbs quickly are recalled, as the bottom half of the object retracts and darts into the sky. Here is a depiction done by Olaf Rockner, who is a Swedish artist, of the Syrian UAP that does look very similar. I noticed that thing in the air. Uh, I can try to zoom in on it as best as I can. But, yeah, it's not really clear what it is. Um, it's not moving. It's kind of like suspended in midair. Uh, there is no string at all. There's no string underneath it. That's not a balloon. I don't know what that is. But you can see it. I'm going to zoom in right there underneath it. There's no string whatsoever. And this thing is literally hovering above this community. Just like a black ball of something. I don't know what it is. Super weird. Wow. Very interesting. I'll zoom in one more time. Wish I had my flashlight on me, honestly. Yeah, it's not moving at all. That thing is stationary. Super weird. This is uh, in the Mountain's Edge area of Las Vegas. I wonder if anyone's ever seen the same thing. I'm near uh, uh, Buffalo and I guess Windmill this would be. Flying over downtown. Oh, snap. I just stepped back outside. I went inside because it's incredibly cold here tonight. And there's an object uh, in the lower part of the screen. You have a plane traveling uh, west. And I immediately noticed uh, this slow moving object below it. That's heading uh, east. I'm gonna move towards the sidewalk. It's about something like 12 Fahrenheit here, or about minus 12 uh, Celsius. I think that object has already gone, uh, I think it's already gone lights out. Yeah, that's gone lights out. It's um, Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. Like I said, I just came back outside and uh, there's an object heading east. The following footage is from Mountain Air, New Mexico, October 23rd, 2023. This is what the witness had to say about the event they experienced.
There it is. There it is. Alexandria, Virginia, October 19, 2023. Here is what the witness had to say about their experience with the following footage. While driving home in the evening, I saw an orange glowing object flying low. I initially thought it was a drone on fire. I parked in my driveway to get out and get a better look. I saw multiple silent orange objects flying northwards in a staggered line, possibly about a dozen. A neighbor walking his dog stopped to watch and my wife came out to look. I went back indoors and didn't have a good count of the total number of objects. Videos attached from iPhone 15 Pro. Living near DC, I can only assume the objects might be military. Comments from the witness. I was on the front porch of my home and saw an extremely intense light above the tree line on the whole of the golf course that my house is situated on. The trees are roughly 500-750 ft from my front porch viewpoint. It was hovering left and right with periods of standstill. This is the pistol butcher of Tormalakis. Guys, what the fuck is this massive thing on the sky looking like I don't know what the fuck it does? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck? Yo, yo, what the fuck? Shatui, fill your cup, okay? Shatui, go away. Who is that? Oh, Shatui, yeah, look. Wow. Son, what the fuck is going on with you? 